side of the street were cracked also, and they're cracking out the back all the way down to Church Street. You mean so, the east side of the street? I'm sorry, the east side of the street, excuse me. Uh, I'm backwards here. Uh, so we have four buildings there that, that, that will have to be raised also that are, are definitely structurally unsound. And we're not sure how far that, that, that is going to go. And, and uh, we, we've got to do something with this building before we get in and, and go on with what's happening. The developer, Mark Mendelson, apparently has talked to our newsroom not long ago to say that the city has been putting out a false story to the effect that sinkhole first causing the water main break. He says uh, the city water, pro uh, city water department is at fault. You're clear that that's not the case? No, it's very, very clear that it's a sinkhole. And you can see the sinkhole, and it's starting to go, as I said earlier, it's going to the east there and definitely a sinkhole. Uh, if you if you went down and looked in the hole, which he didn't look at, uh, you'll see the pipes and everything have dropped down, and uh, uh, it, it's it's a major sinkhole. Okay, one more thing quickly: yeah. any of these buildings, either the one that's so obviously damaged, or the other ones on the other side of the street, in any imminent danger of crashing down? Yes, the the corporate plaza is definitely any moment could come down completely, or at least the uh, the northern third of the building. Okay. Mayor Hyde, thank you very much. You've had a long day today. Appreciate your coming over to speak to us. A lot of people have been at the scene and, in fact, are at the scene at the moment uh, who are crowded around here, kept away, of course, by the yellow emergency tape at Center Square. Uh, people have watched this morning and have, in fact, have run, as you saw in our video earlier, from falling debris earlier on today when the corporate plaza building really began to, to list and to shake and crumble. Since a lot of people have been here uh, seeing what's going on and experiencing this disaster firsthand, we sent Newland Archinal out. She's been talking to bystanders here all day. Well, people have been standing here all day looking at this lurched over building in virtual amazement. They say it's a complete oddity. They've never seen anything like it here in Center City, Allentown before. Now, some people we talked to say they'd expect this kind of thing to happen out west, but not here in the Lehigh Valley. I say that if you lived in California, this would be anything, but here we are in Allentown. It's pretty special. I never dreamed of anything like this. Yeah, pretty, pretty what, spectacular? Yeah. It really kind of puts things in perspective. Uh, one minute you can count on something being there, and the next minute it's gone. It looked like the building was going to hold up, and then about 10:30, 11 o'clock, the back end of the building looked like it started to go. So it's just been all day. We've been waiting for it to see what's going to happen, see if it's going to go or not. Lookers have been taking pictures and recording what's likely to be a very memorable moment in Allentown's history. Uh, one worker we spoke to summed up the situation here and the economic impact of it best. She says her job is in the air while the building is on the ground. Reporting from Center City, Allentown, Newland Arch, Channel 69 News. Ten years ago, the Corporate Plaza project was hailed as a sign of the success in revitalization in the downtown area of Allentown. Back in 1984, the 10,000 square foot office building and parking garage was built on the site of an old park and shop lot at 22 North 7th Street, but the enterprise struggled financially from the start. It never achieved full occupancy, and its original owners sold it to developer Mark Mendelson in 1988. Since then, he too has been played with too many vacant offices and has often fallen behind on taxes and special assessment fees due to the downtown improvement district authority in Allentown. We have only been able to speak to developer Mendelson in the last few minutes. Earlier today, he did not have a comment for us. We have, in fact, uh, spoken to some of his people who said, as we mentioned to Mayor Height earlier, that the city was at fault, its water department was at fault, having, a, he said, a broken water main that led to the sinkhole, which further damaged the building. But as Mayor Height said, the city believes the sinkhole came first. The sinkhole occurred, a large fault, in fact, through center of city Allentown, causing a water main rupture. In fact, the water main, he said, a 12-inch main was just sheared off, and the buried down in the street. They can't even find it. So in answer to Mendelssohn's people, the city says that the uh, sinkhole came first to damage the water main. And of course, uh, that's the situation here in downtown Allentown now. The corporate plaza building is in danger of falling at any moment. They're just keeping a good eye on it, keeping people away from it, and hoping they can do some demolition work on the weakened parts of the building and on buildings across the street now. In fact, Mayor Height told me a few minutes ago that a couple of buildings down on the Hamilton Mall, they have discovered a few cracks in buildings that are a couple of buildings removed from where I stand right now. So they maybe are just beginning to find out the extent of the damage caused by this sinkhole and the fault, as he described it, here in Allentown. We have another big story today, of course. Besides that first day, Channel 69 News kept a camera rolling on the building at all times. It seemed it might come tumbling down at any moment. We even had a cameraman camp out overnight at Center Square just in case. When Allentonians awoke the next morning, the first thing they wondered was, is it still standing? 
It was. And its tenants desperately wanted to get in to retrieve their files and computer records. Good evening, I'm Janet Vassell. The crumbling corporate plaza building in downtown Allentown remains standing tonight despite more movement in the ground underneath. This afternoon, tenants from the building met with the owner, Mark Mendelson, to talk about trying to salvage some of their records from inside. Mendelson told them they must hire a private salvage company to do that. This is Mr. Mendelson's building. Those are Mr. Mendelson's tenants. You'll have to talk to Mr. Mendelson and his tenants about what happened on that part. More glass fell from the building earlier today as it continued to settle with the sinkhole. We're keeping an eye uh, on the block surrounding that to see if the sinkhole is going to spread. Um, the buildings on the east side of Hamilton Street continue to have glass and other materials fall off, so obviously they are still settling. Kern says he expects uh, the building will be demolished on Monday. City officials will meet tomorrow with the utility companies to decide how they'll handle putting the utilities back on in that area. Well, it's been a very long day for officials once again as they've assessed the situation with a fine-tooth comb. Channel 69's Newland Archinal is standing by live at the scene with the latest. Newland. Uh, well, Janet, the wind has really picked up out here, and that's brought on a lot of onlookers who've come to see what will happen next with the building. It seems to be hanging in there and... and considering it's on some shaky ground. As you mentioned earlier today, uh, some panes of glass fell from the uppermost floors. They came crashing down, and that attracted a lot of attention. But so far, so good. Nothing has happened in recent hours. Now, there is good news tonight for a lot of the neighbors and nearby businesses here along 7th and Hamilton. Uh, a group of geologists toured the area earlier today, and they have determined that the sinkhole is not going to get much bigger. It's called a catastrophic sinkhole. This one is 40 feet wide, 150 feet long, and 10 feet deep. And geologists say these kinds of cavities aren't out of the ordinary in the Lehigh Valley. Periodically, uh, they grow to the point where they become unstable and the roof collapses. That's what we have here. There are reports from people who work in the building of some indications of something happening underground two days before it actually collapsed. The reason it did is because the region's bedrock is comprised mainly of limestone. That limestone dissolved earlier this week to form a cave, a cave that's about to swallow the seven-story corporate plaza. And for the last 24 hours, people have been wondering how it happened. Well, it's doubtful that the water main break would have caused the sinkhole to occur. Uh, it's more likely in a sinkhole of this magnitude uh, that it's a natural break and the water main broke as a result. The other big question is how long before things settle down? Geologists say it's likely to be another one to three days and here's why. Geologists say what will happen next is pretty typical in cases like this, especially with these warmer days and cooler nights we've been having. The earth should continue to move and shift around until things eventually settle down. There is cracking occurring in the buildings across the street. The building still is settling, but the hole is not growing. It's simply the result of a bunch of rubble that fell into the hole is starting to settle down. That's the news evacuees have hoped for. 34-year-old Mark Howard was pulled out of his apartment early yesterday morning. He says this whole ordeal has been nerve-wracking and very confusing. I just don't know what's up from you know, moment to moment. It's like, where am I going to go from here, you know? Well, tonight, uh, Howard and 19 other evacuees wait to go back home. The Red Cross, meantime, has scrambled to provide all of them food, shelter, clothing, and transportation while they wait. Still no word on when that will be. So this is just an example of one of the many inconveniences this building collapse in the sinkhole has caused. 